So this is the results of me trying to make a silicone mold while applying heat using a heat gun, even though the instructions explicitly said not to. I wanted to see if this minimized the amount of bubbles. And this came out so clear, you can actually see the little Lego mark there. And you can see on the side that it was very clear and then all the bubbles just kind of stayed at the top because when I used the heat gun, it developed a sort of film. So it didn't allow the bubbles to pop, but it does kind of look like it allowed the bubbles to rise better. And I don't know if that's just because of the heat gun or because there was like more space on the side of the objects that I was molding. When I molded the inclusive pride flag, as you'll see at the end, there was very little space, but on this one, there was a lot of space around it. And it, look at the difference between these. I molded these on the same day using the same mold, trying to do the same technique. And look how much clearer the one with the heat gun is. It just has the white at the top, which is the concentration of bubbles. What do you think was the cause of this? Do you think it was the heat gun or the spacing between what I was molding and the border?